Well, hello again. I'm starting a new project. Uh, it's about having an uh, uncovered amplifier. So this uh, unit uh, used to be a kind of two plus one. I mean a subwoofer and uh, another two cabinets uh, amplifier. A small PA system like uh, 200 watts for a uh, Subwoofer and two times eighty or seventy-five watts for uh, for medium and highs, and um, as you can see here, I still have the subwoofer. It's a bridge amplifier with two TDA and uh, this is supposed to deliver around one hundred and seventy two hundred watts on 8 ohms. Also there is a huge heatsink and the heatsink also have a fan and this is really wonderful. You see the fan here. What I want to do is to use this amplifier because it's working and uh, everything is set here uh, the power supply and a really nice uh, toroidal transformer. This transformer is supposed to have like 600 watts or something so it's plenty of power for making this thing running smooth. Now what I want to do is to have a preamp and a tone control. A tone control with uh, uh, bus, uh, medium and treble. And uh, I think eventually I'm gonna use this for having a guitar amplifier but that depends how the sound will be that's the final uh, uh, amplifier the power amplifier I may say and uh, I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna do with the preamp and how I'm gonna do it uh, this this is a mono amplifier okay so back to the preamp project Everything will be done on this kind of uh, this kind of board here. Uh, that makes very simple because the connections can be done very very well and very easy at the same time. And I have this uh, four potentiometers here, 100 kilos each. One for volume and three for uh, for a tone control. So that's going to be that's going to be something like this. So I put the potentiometers together and solder them to the board and it's gonna start looking like this and that's also gonna be the mechanical uh, implementation I may say you know because all the board will stand in this uh, nuts and boards from the potentiometers and uh, also I'm gonna start planting all the other all the other resistors and uh, all the other capacitance and whatever I need there, you know, in and out. Uh, it's a very simple circuit. Uh, as you may see, there is an operational circuit over there. It's a dual operational circuit. I uh, Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the schematic. You see the design. It's uh, around uh, LM833 op amp from a national semiconductor. I didn't have that, so I used another double operational circuit, uh, an uh, GRC5558. Uh, also, you can use uh, like LM358. Uh, also, you can use two operational circuits, uh, simple operational circuits like several for one. It's nothing special uh, here. Well, I have to say the gain can be modified with R2 and R3 and then gonna fit your signal input. In the meantime, the power amplifier uh, ruined two circuits, you know, that burned two circuits. So I had to replace it with another board. It's almost the same schematic, but I, I don't know, it was something wrong with the original one. And uh, I didn't have enough patience, you know, to, to take all 
to take off all the condensers and all the stuff, you know, to check what's happening because I already had this board already done with the same uh, 270 to 94 in bridge mode. And finally, that's it. Uh, you see, we have a volume there and a bus, uh, middle and high or treble. Uh, I didn't put any label yet because I just put the holes in and I have an uh, RCA uh, audio in. Okay, so this is uh, part two about uh, reviving, I may say, recovering some parts from an old amplifier and uh, doing my own one. Well, uh, like I said before, it's a mono amplifier and this is the preamp I did. I know it's looking ugly for now, but it's just a test. So uh, it's uh, a tone correction, a tone equalizer, I may say, with uh, three tones control, medium, bass and uh, high or treble with one double operational uh, circuit. Here is the old part, I may say, the, the power supply and the other power supply for the preamps and um, here we have the, the new power amplifier. It's a pretty standard, I may say, bridge and it's working great, I may say. Now I'm gonna have some tests. So I'm gonna use one of these uh, loudspeakers here or the other one better. So. Uh, we have a subwoofer here and uh, we have a, a 12 inch up here so that's a totally um, around 8 ohms so I have my trusty Catron MidJ uh, plugged in and I'm gonna use a mono jack because this amplifier it's mono just turn on and let's play some music. I think I'm gonna use some of mine. We can have problems with copyrights and stuffs. Favorites. just uh, hooked up a subwoofer and it's got a filter and let's see how it works volume up really nice deep fragrances let's cut the bass a little bit I think it's working should be okay okay let's try something else So here you have the schematics, they've been uh, designed by a guy called P. Marion. Marion, thank you very much, all the credits to you. You see it's a simple schematic and uh, you have a differential voltage over there with a common ground. Mine have like 34 uh, volts each wing plus 34 minus 34 with a ground. And the preamp, we've been talking before about that, it's easy to be done and the sound it's good and uh, like I told I'm gonna use it like a guitar amplifier later 
I, I'll be back with some more after everything will be put in a proper case and and uh, after more tests but uh, for now I'm really happy with the results thank you again Marianne for uh, the designs and thank you for you guys and see you later